Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up basic authentication for an API call via Bubbles API Connector. Basic authentication requires the provision of a username and a password in a Base64 encoded format by the client to the API server. The API server then receives this information, authenticates it, and allows access to their resources. I'm going to be displaying how to do this and how to set this up via using the Postman Echo API. I'm going to switch to this tab here, which has the API documentation for Postman Echo. This particular API requires basic authentication to access the information at this API server. I can see here that the API method required is a get method and that this is the URL. Let me try accessing or calling this particular API without providing any form of authentication and see the response that I get. So I'll write here Postman Echo. I'll then expand this one and write here basic auth. I have the API method as a get request and I'll initialize the call. I can see that I got a status code 401 and I get this response that I'm unauthorized. So I need to provide authorization. So let's see how to set that up. It explains it really clearly just below um, in this documentation here. And it states to use this endpoint, send a request with the header authorization, basic, and then this jumble of text symbols and letters. So what is this jumble of text symbols and letters? What this is, is it's simply a base64 encoded concatenation of the default username and password, where the default username and password for this particular API is Postman and the password is password. And this would be provided in any API documentation, which requires basic authentication. It is also important to realize that when you concatenate and base64 encode this information, you should write it in the format of Postman and then write a colon and then put in password if that is the password. Let me show exactly how to set this up. If I move to this tab, which is simply base64 encode online, what this allows me to do is just to write in any text here, click encode, and it'll provide me that information in a base64 format. So what I want to write here is the username first. So that's Postman. And then I'll write that in. And then I want to put a colon. And then I want to pop in password, which is the password. It's always really important to remember this colon in between here. I'll click encode. And then it'll provide me this information, which I need to send when I'm authenticating. If I go back to here, I can see exactly how to um, authenticate. And I can see that I need to provide a header with the term authorization here. And let me set this up. So I've got the header with the term authorization. And then for the value, I can see it's basic space and then the base64 encoded format. So I'll go here, I'll copy this information. And I'll write basic and I'll write that in. And then now I can see that it says authenticated true. So what that means is that I am able to access the information at this particular endpoint. Now, Bubble has an easier way to set this up. So they support this authentication method natively. So I just choose this option, HTTP basic or, and I can provide the username and the password exactly here. So if we remember the username is Postman. And then the password is simply password for this one. And what this will do when I initialize or set up this call is it will automatically create a header with the key authorization, the value basic space, and then this username and password in a base64 encoded format. So let's test this out. So I can see again that I still have access to the resources of this um, particular API and that I've been authenticated successfully. So using this method just allows me to save a little bit of time and a little bit easier to set up an API call which requires basic authentication. Now if you have any questions or feedback that you'd like to provide us in this video, please feel free to leave a comment below.